All right, so adding active campaign with ClickFunnels is really easy. Um, it's one of your many choices for um, emails in ClickFunnels. You can use active campaign. Um, there's several others. Um, in this screen, you can see I've got a MailChimp account hooked up, um, but we'll just stick with active campaign. So all you would really do is here in ClickFunnels, you would go to your account and you go to integrations. All right, and that's where we're at right now. And you would just click on add new integration. You can give it a nickname, and this is just what you want to see. Um, and what you want to call it. So generally, maybe if you have several accounts, you might want to call it, you know, the business name and uh, active campaign or just whatever you want, really. And then you just click down here um, to what you want. So in this case, it would be active campaign. And then you're going to need these things, okay? The API key, API URL. So let's hop over now to active campaign. All right, we're going to go to my settings. And then we're going to click on developer. Okay, and here you go. You've got your URL. So you just click Control C to copy, and then you've got your key right here. Okay, so you just take those one at a time, paste them into here, and click create integration. All right, it's that simple. And then once you're inside of a funnel, you can add these very easily. So I'm going to pause real quick, bring up a funnel, and we'll show you how to get that going. Okay, so here we are. We're looking at an opt-in funnel. This is just a uh, temporary funnel, or uh, a blank one. So we're going to edit, and let's go in here. And now, you can see over here you have email. Okay, so where this is, you just click, and then you're going to click on the integration to use. I already have my um, Active Campaign account integrated, so you'll see that here, Active Campaign. And then we can select an action, and you're going to click Add to List or delete from list but generally most people are going to be looking for this add to a list and then you just click and select any of your lists that you've already made so if you haven't yet created a list that's something you need to do in active campaign um, and that's covered separately but it's that's just whatever you need it to be maybe you have a list for a specific opt-in or a specific product things like that all right and all you do is click that select your list and save it and you're good to go and then highly recommend of course as always that you go and you actually open up the page test it with your email and make sure that you're being added to the page so that's it